I recently started a page on Instagram called Featured Photographs, and it's been getting a lot of traction. And I thought this was the perfect moment to take some time to talk about what it was, why I'm doing it, and why I'm so passionate about it. So if you go to Instagram and you go to Featured Photographs, you'll see a little bit about what it's about, essentially. Um, so initially, I got inspired by a conversation I had with a photographer who told me that she had uploaded a photo to uh, Facebook and she was really dissatisfied because she didn't get a lot of likes. She then asked me, what was wrong with the photo? So I already had a spark in my head because I realized how bad that thinking was, how toxic that thinking was that you let your validation extend to the public rather than being validated first by yourself and then putting your work out there in confidence. The reason why this is so dangerous is because today, more than ever, we have so many talented people connected through the internet where we're able to see amazing people post work. But you're not going to see it if artists fizzle out because they don't get the reception they're looking for. This could happen for many reasons. Maybe their reach isn't very good. Maybe they don't have a lot of fans. Maybe they're posting at the wrong time of day. Maybe they're not engaging people correctly because of algorithms and whatever it is. With the kind of climate that we're in now as creatives, that there's so much beautiful work out there, sometimes not everything gets seen. Also, if you are shooting and trying to be in a magazine, Sometimes it's impossible to do that because you're not shooting seven to eight looks. You're not shooting a full range of images that are being put out to an editor. And so you can be very limited by finding avenues where you can push your, push your images to. So I kind of saw a gap that I wanted to fill because I was really passionate about actually taking photographs from people that I saw that did good work but they didn't know or people who did good work but didn't have the reception. And I want to put them in the limelight by using my connections. And although I'm not a big magazine, but I could still make a difference in the industry by using the connections that I have and the spare time that I find people and bridging them together. So that's what Featured Photographs is, is taking images, no matter if they're published, if they're a landscape photo, if they're a beauty image, if they're an art piece, if they're a fine art project, whatever it is, and pushing it into the limelight to working professionals and editors and art directors and trying to get a bigger audience and also serve as a, as a place for motivation. The other benefit is also having people who are already established and do good work but may not be known to a specific audience and showcasing their work on featured photographs as well. I'm very lucky to be able to travel quite a bit in my work and meet and connect with people from every major continent and every major fashion and beauty market and every major area that has photographers who are passionate. And they tell me that they wish there was something like this and also they give me an insight into photographers that I never knew. And more and more I'm finding that there's so many talented people I have never heard of and I want other people to know about. So although this was a side project, it's something that I feel that has amazing potential and because it has gained a lot of traction, I want to formally talk a little bit about it. I've always wanted to have a gallery in the future and I feel like Instagram is a perfect place for a digital gallery which is free for everyone to enter. And you don't even have to be there at the exact location because it's not a physical location. Even the way it's set up when you go into the Instagram pages, you see a lot of beautiful work. And then if you want to find out a little bit more about each person, you click on it and you go to their page and the website and know more about them. So I'm hoping a lot of you uh, come on board, either as a viewer or somebody who wants to take part in this initiative. Um, the only way that I really tell people to submit images essentially tagging featured photographs either with a hashtag or physically tagging their photograph or just sending me an email at solsticeretouch.com and letting me know about a special artist that you like. So thank you so much and I'm excited to see where this leads us.